Okay, so this problem reads, if you can buy one bunch of asparagus for $2, then how many can you buy for $4? So when doing a problem like this, um, one thing it's important to do is, you know, we're gonna wanna create a fraction, a kind of a ratio that we're gonna have. So what it says is for $2, I can buy one bag of asparagus or one bunch of asparagus. So that is gonna be my ratio. For every $2, I can buy one bag. And then what we're gonna do is now we're gonna create a proportion. And a proportion is just going to be when a ratio equals another ratio. So now they're saying, if I know that for $2 I can buy one, how much can I buy for $4? Now remember, we represent our questions, our, our unknowns, with variables. So in this case, I'll represent x. And since I'm including an x, I'm now going to write in uh, what x represents. So x equals the number of bunches of asparagus. All right, so now I remember and I know, at least I understand, what the x represents. So now what I can do from here is I could either solve for x by using inverse operations, or a lot of times that we use in proportions is we like to use cross multiplication. So by applying cross multiplication, I am going to cross multiply across my equal sign, and I'll get 2x equals I'm sorry, positive 2x divided by um, 4, and then I'll divide by $2. And therefore, I get x equals the money signs can't divide out, and 4 divided by 2 equals 2. So therefore, I can buy two bunches of asparagus when I have $4. As long as I can buy for $2, I can buy one. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve using proportions. Thanks.